Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Railroads. Today's beverage is a quite interesting, and I stress interesting rather than good, tonic water with a hint of cucumber. I have no idea why I've picked this up, and I have obviously some point in the past, but I can't remember where and I can't remember why, and um, yeah, well there's the end of that chat. So welcome back to Sid Meier's Railroads. Meier's, me's, Meier's. It's, uh, it's it's someone's railroads, and in the previous episode, we were looking at the Southeastern Europe map, which I think is one of the most interesting maps in the game. I actually really enjoy that map. However, we're going to go back to something a bit more default here, and we're going to go to the US. Now, my favourite US map is Southwest US. I think it's just because you can carry gold, which is fairly cool. After that, I quite enjoy the Midwest, but we're going to look at maybe the Northwest, maybe? Uh, actually, no. Yeah, Northwest US would be quite interesting so it is Vancouver to Boise B-O-I-S-E is that Boise or Boise I'm gonna go with Boise but yeah other pronunciations are also available and obviously maybe even um, more correct but there you are so loading in and we'll see how we get on I would like to try and do the like to try and do the goals and win my doing my those but we'll see how we get on um, standard difficulty and um, and routing is on. We're just going to pause it for a second. So we are in Portland here and we already have an automobile factory and a refinery. So that is actually a very decent start. We have Olympia in Seattle over here. That has a newspaper and power plant. We've got Vancouver up the top there, which also has a newspaper and power plant. Lots of oil platforms around here as well. We've got uh, Moses Lake over there, which has got a paper mill and a goods factory. Lots of stone there. One of our competitors is up here. That is J.P. Point Morgan. We just open these up here. Um, we also have Cornelius Vanderby, I think it is, and Jim Fisk. I'm just trying to find the latter two there. So I'll have a quick scroll around. Oh, there in um, Boise we have uh, Cornelius there, and in Bend we have Jim Fisk. So there you are. So we we'll just check out the goal first over to our top left here and we've got for the victory screen there's only two sets of victory conditions 50 years for the land of the green and then prosperous papers and profits which is complete by 1930 uh, stimulate a region's economy by going two villages into metropolises metropolise metropolises Metropolis. Anyway, uh, gain a foothold in the local forestry industry by buying or building a paper mill in the area. Need to own a paper mill in any city, okay. And take advantage of the finest lumber in the nation by shipping 50 carloads of lumber to your new paper mill. Okay, so we want a paper mill. Mm, from here then though, actually first we can we can go for, that's a steel mill over there which turns that into steel and we can make cars which is interesting. Um, there's another steel mill over there, can we get steel, uh, paper mill there, let's just not get sidetracked, let's go for uh, either the refinery or the, <coughs> hmm, yeah that's problematic, the closest place for oil is over there and not nah, you know what that's probably okay let me unpause it and I'm just going to track this over to here that's a moderate downhill that will then go over to um, over to fossil which is an interesting name um, and let's see if we can go there steep uphill but obviously it, uh, it is what it is we're going to place that in there we're going to say go there fill the cars up with oil wait until full go there clear the cars and then come back what i'll do after that is from portland i'll go over to olympia and go back and forward that way um, and transport the transport the goods there but in order to, for us to transport goods this needs to grow um, I'm going to go for a auction on the refinery because obviously we are going to uh, start to make money that way which is good there is a power plant down here in Salem but I'm not going to bring this oil there because there's no end product so there's no real reason to do that are we on a slightly slow speed no we're not we're on the normal speed there so passengers and mail is there any way I can send passengers in mail well not really I could go to Bend. However, I'm not really too keen on doing that. Let's see what the best course of action is. You know what? I genuinely think I think I think we should get all over to Olympia and then bring the ore down to that to get cars, and then we can ship cars over to Seattle. That's not a terrible plan. Um, I mean, I've had I've had worse ideas. Uh, let's just go over. This is where you expect an example, but I'm not going to put myself out. Uh, so we'll sell some stock there to go over to Olympia. And the best course of action is probably just to go straight across like that. Um, that would obviously 
require a lot of money. In fact, it's going to require a hideous amount of money. So <laughs> I don't know if that is the best course of action or not. That's a moderate uphill to there. But if I use the reduction here, that's a gentle uphill. And that goes near this... Uh, fishery here. Uh, Mayor of Moses Lake solicits railway. Well, I'm going to try and do that, but I, I need money first, so I need to get over there, which is going to require a bridge, which is no grid, but it is 2,000 to go over there. So I'm going to sell some more stock. I'm basically going to sell as much stock as I could possibly get away with. That'll go in there. We'll then put in the annex. There we go. And then we're going to take the ore from there, max it out, Wait until full. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay. Um, yeah, I need to also place that in Olympia. So, where was I? Over there. Max that out. Go there. Clear it. Fill up in ore. Then go there. Then clear the car and go back. Now, obviously, we'll have to alter that route later on anyway. Um, when we transport more stuff. But we'll see when we transport the cars and such. So, we'll see how we get on. I want to buy the steel mill. But I'm in a very risky situation. Because at the moment, I've got... If I sell all my stock, only the oh, only eight grand left if I start that auction. It means if someone else bids on that, I will lose out on this steel mill. So, naturally, that's something I do not want to do. I would rather wait for us to get all of this ore um, and then, yeah, go from there, really. Even if it means me, even if it means this going up in revenue and increasing in price. Although, hopefully, the oil will come down sooner. We'll shall see. Looks like the uh, Jim Fisk has started getting some ore to bend. We have got ore coming over to here, which is going to make us money, which is brilliant. But it's also going to increase the cost of the paper mill. Uh, sorry, the steel mill. Um, do I want to start bidding on it now? I... I do not. <laughs> oh, there, we're taking some steel as well. Okay, I'm going to start auctions on the steel mill. New speed record. Oh, self. 39 miles an hour near the Seattle Minerals Company. And that's basically because it's a downhill carrying loads of ore and steel. Um, I also want to buy the automobile factory, but good grief. 181,000 to get that. Hmm. Okay. Well, it looks like we've bought that. We now own the steel mill, which is good. There's a new, a new loco. The 260 Mogul. Um... Automobile factory I can get. I can pick up that automobile factory. Do I want to get it now? No. What I want to do instead is double track. To there. And... Probably continue on that double track actually. Because I want to head to Seattle. And I think this is the most efficient route. Into Seattle here. Uh, G JP Point Morgan rewarded. Ah. Oh, 100,000 for the incentive there. Pretty good. Pretty good. So we've got goods and we've got cars. But. At this stage. We only have one track to Seattle. I want a passengers and mail locomotive. There we go, there. So it's in Seattle now. I want passengers and mail, but I also want to take cars. Um, let's get the passengers and mail and three of the cargoes. This is going to require... This is going to require some alterations later on. So those are getting built. It's going to go into Seattle. Um, we haven't upgraded our stations or depots or anything like that. So it's probably best for the unload speed and things. We also have the paper mill, which we're not currently utilising. This requires paper, but the nearest plus bit of wood is like miles away over here. Yeah, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's going to happen, which means I don't think we'll get the victory conditions, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we're going to upgrade Seattle to a station. Oh no, it requires 100,000 for that. 
So I don't know if we can do that. Maybe maybe Olympia. Olympia is going to be... I think this will increase in size. It's currently a village, but with the stuff that we're taking there, I think realistically it's going to increase in size very quickly. So I've went to a station and uh, we're just off the ability to buy a terminal. Okay, what I'm going to do then is buy some more, buy some of my own stock because quite frankly we are in a position where oh, it's a very precarious one. We are not the not the lowest in terms of stock ownership, but it's getting there. It is getting there. Um and our price uh, of our size of um uh, our size of company is not great. It's only just, just, just tipped the two million mark there. I'm gonna obviously buy a station, then a terminal in Seattle, because that gives you more car load and unload speed, as well as extra revenue for passengers and mail. Portland is um, oh, coal pollution gives industry a black eye. Cause it's a no to dirty coal power plants. Luckily, we're not. Um, we're not having that, which is good. Uh, the Berkshire Malleable Rails patent, 25% cheaper to build rails. Let me place a bid on that. That seems very reasonable to pick up that. Um, Cornelius is bidding on it. I'm also going to yeah, keep an eye on it. I do want to, I do want to get that. I really do. Looks like we got it for 100,000. It's fine. That is reasonable. Um, oh, <laughs> I think we were about a thousand generic units of currency off being able to upgrade this to a station and then obviously to a terminal. I noticed there's two fisheries here. But we've got no way to convert it to food. So, yeah, at this stage there's no real point. Um, right, there we go. We've now got enough money to upgrade that to a terminal. Good. So we now have a terminal in all of the places that require it. We... Have still not bought the automobile factory, but that's fine. I just want to buy some more stocks, just so we're not in a not in a really precarious position. We've got cars to transport. Uh, there's a four six zero ten wheeler. So where can we transport these? Um, there's currently no place on the map that requires locomotives. Uh, that requires cars. Eventually, when Seattle gets a bit larger, it will require them, which is fine. But at this stage, not so much. Um, I want to buy that automobile factory sooner rather than later because the revenue is potentially pretty good. Nobody else is taking anything from this minerals company, which is fine. From Seattle, I could probably go up to Vancouver, actually. And that's got passengers and mail. That would be okay. Let's, let's do that. So I'm going to double track there. It's a bit schmorky because of, all, because of the volcano that's billowing out. All sorts of stuff over there. Uh, nice volcanic fumes. Tasty. Uh, and let's go from there. Passengers and mail. I go with a standard 3-2 arrangement. Don't know why. It's just how I've done that. And, oh, we've got Vancouver Oil there. And we've got a power plant in Seattle and a power plant in Vancouver. Um, the question is, which one would I like to bring stuff to? We also, to be fair... Have the refinery here so bringing it over to the refinery would be better because it produces more stuff is that what i'm going to do potentially um let me just upgrade this to a station then to a terminal and also um see is that has that been upgraded yet no it's still a town i need to become a metropolis oh a new speed record near vancouver that's coming down that big hill olympia has now increased in size so this loco going to alter its route so instead of going to portland it is going to um cancel okay what's the best course of action here i want it to go through here so i'm going to connect these two up like so it's not ideal but it should do the job um so that edit it from portland i want to delete there i want to go here um Yes, then there, yes, then there, job done. Is that right? I think it's right. So it's from Portland, passengers, mail and goods, go to Olympia, passengers and mail, over here. 
I just realized I'm bringing goods over to Seattle and it doesn't actually require goods. Yeah, this doesn't require them. I thought it did. Genuinely thought it did. So I'm just going to do that then. That's just the passenger and mail train. So where where do goods need to be delivered? Um, absolutely nowhere so far. Technically Portland because it's a city. Ooh, half maintenance costs in all trains. Let's put a bid on that. And I've just realised how much money we have. <laughs> Let's uh, keep putting a bid on that. I'm just going to slow the game down a little bit as well for the time being. Um, yeah, wow. Didn't didn't expe uh, expect that. So, Cornelius is still bidding on that thing. You know what? Let's put it back up to fat, top speed. Half maintenance costs. You can imagine the people are really wanting to get this. McCoy's Lubricator Patent. We've got it. That's good. Going to start... I think we want to buy the automobile factory, do we? Possibly. Possibly. Um... Right, I'm going to put bids on the automobile factory. Oh! Oh! He's bringing fish over to me by the look of it. Food. Yeah, he's bringing food over. Cool. Looks like we're going to get this auction. We now have the automobile factory, which is good. So it's got a bit of revenue on the go. Um, I also want to buy out the power plant in Seattle because I want to double track this thing. And I want to just... How dare you bid on that? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> say it as if it's like a big shock that anyone can bid on an open auction. <laughs> They're totally allowed. That's the deal. Um, but it's worth nothing at the stage. But obviously the bit of a speculative buying there. Uh, we're going to go through here. 230,000 generic units of currency to go to the Vancouver Oil and Gas. Luckily we have that money. And that's going to fill up on oil, wait until full, go there, clear the car, come back. The reason I'm bringing it there is because I want Seattle to become a city. And I want to do that sooner rather than later. Toothpick tragedy triggers lumber loss. Man loses eye to toothpick, calls for wood boycott. She's boycotting wood. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I could upgrade some of my locos, actually. Would it be best to do so? Um, let's go for... Upgrade. Um, we're currently on that thing, the four four zero American. Um, and that is better for freight. Yeah, we'll go with that one. I actually don't think I'm going to do any more though, just yet, because it feels like we. Oh, there we go. Straight away, Seattle's just becoming a a, a city now, which is requiring goods. So I want to double track, and I want to double track all the way. To here. It's, however, a little bit expensive to do that. No matter, we have the money. Connect that up. And I want to see something go on that side if need be. And also there as well. Alright, that's all connected. Um, on this side, I'm going to do that. So then go from one side to the other if need be. It's a little bit dodgy, but it'll do. And then from here, all of the manufactured goods to there. Clear the car, come back. Go. The 280 Consolidation Freight Train. Freight Loco, not a train. Still don't have any demand for cars, but it is what it is. We... JP Point Morgan has got no stock. Interesting. Uh, the fisheries. Looks like he's taken stuff from the fisheries here. I am going to... Things are getting a bit cramped down there. Can I expand anywhere else is the question. From Vancouver, for example. Um, over here, we have Spokane. Uh, we could go over there. How much would it be to do that? Certainly going to be one of the biggest bridges I've built. Um, 280, tunnel and a bridge, steep downhill, okay. Just going to go straight into there. Going to place one of those in. Upgrade, station, then a terminal. From there, passengers mail, passengers mail. Can also bring paper back, why not? 
I don't know if I, I don't know. I don't even know if I need paper. Oh yes, it does. We have a we have a newspaper. Let's um, let's do that then. Let's start buying out this newspaper. I'm also going to double track it in Vancouver. Just so we can. Oh, that's why you don't do what I've just done. So what happened there is I tried to connect up this to the edge, and what you should really do is connect up from the rail to the end of the connector rather than the other way around, if that makes sense. Um, good. Okay. I'm going to buy that paper mill out. And I've just realised that nobody else is really making money. Cornelius, his stock is worth nothing. <laughs> well, I say nothing, it is worth something. But I was able to buy stock for 50 odd grand. I'm going to buy as much as I possibly can. Um, sawing profits make a, make pulp out of opposition. And what's this? Westinghouse air brakes patent. Increasing speed in tight turns. I'll put a cheeky bid or two on that one. Speaking of bids, you can see I'm buying out Cornelius here. I don't even know what he's done. Well, he's got track. He's got a lot of track. No. Careful now. Careful now. He's got a lot of track. But I still want to keep buying. Olympia has grown to a city, which requires goods. But we're, we're actually taking over here. Uh, I thought we got that there, that auction. Apparently not. That's alright. Now we've got it. <laughs> Good. Um, managed to buy 90% of Cornelius' stock. I cannot believe they own the none of their stock. I'm going to start putting in bids for the other guys now. We want to start buying out their stock because this could be it. Oh, yes! Hang on. The best thing ever. Well, maybe not the best thing ever, but certainly a good thing. Um, from here, I'm going to edit that. And I'm not going to take it to Seattle. I'm going to take it there. Clear the car. Job done. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Cancel, 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 cancel. Pause. Let's have a look. So, in here, we're taking oil from there to there. That is fine. We don't need to touch that. The Seattle Mineral Company. Or to... Right, it's or to there, then to Portland. Load them on cars then head to Seattle, and then go back. Ah, we can't do it, but I think I can fix this. If we do something like this, that should allow us to alter what I was on about. Fill up on cars, go there, clear, okay. So now it's going to transport cars. And let's see if any of what I've just said actually happens. Buying some more stock, um, specifically JP Point Morgan. Jim Fisk is also um, there as well, so he's actually starting to buy quite a bit of stock. Oh, do I just want to... Oh, I have the opportunity. I'm just going to buy our Cornelius and we can call it done. A little bit more money and we're there. And I will merge our companies because he's over there and I'm. there's no way I can really head over there realistically um, but the money that we're going to make from the cars is going to do it for us uh, victory conditions we've got one of those but we're nine years we're not going to do those um, industries no goods so it is manufactured goods is really good at 32,000 a piece and automobiles 58 grand uh, oh Baldwin sandbox patent 25% traction on inclines we have a lot of incline so I'm going to keep bidding on that. I definitely want that. Chairman admits embezzlement. And it happens when I've just bought a bit of his stock out. Is that is that an achievement? No, oh, no victory. Don't know. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep buying this stock as best I can. I only own 50% of my own company, which is uh, somewhat worrying. But also, we're on we're valued at fourteen thousand. 
my mistake, 14 million, followed by Jim Fisk at 5.7, and then J.P. Point Morgan at 3.5. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. It's getting a bit busy around Olympia, isn't it? <laughs> and... I think what I'm going to do is... I think we need to make food. So, I'm going to buy an empty lot of a fishery. Cannery. There it is. So it costs half a million quid. I don't know if we can... If I do that... Yeah, that is a station. That's great. So from here, it's going to be dodgy. We can go down to there. And we can get fish. Go there. Wait until full. Go there. Clear the cars. Job done. Next thing. Um, spare off from there. Go down. Tunnel. I know. Messy. Yes. <laughs> but fill that up with fish. Wait until full. Whoops. Wait until full. Close. Go there. Clear. Come back. Probably don't need to clear it because of where it is. But it is what it is. And then down here. <laughs> this is possibly the most cramped game we've ever had. Wait until full. Go there. There. Clear the car. Go back. Three full fisheries. All transport to Olympia. Thing is, we're not exporting that. We're not exporting it anywhere. So, ah, metropolitan growth. The type of growth you didn't need to see a doctor about. Page five. Oh, ex expanded to a metropolis. We haven't done the wood transport, and unlikely that we'll get that done. Um, so I do need to transport the food now, don't I? I do need to transport food. But... Where's the best place for it? There might be some alterations we can make. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's good. I think... Therefore, I am. Uh, do I need to transport? I mean, we could go for there, fill up with food, wait until full, go to there, clear cars and come back. That might be a little bit too problematic. Um, the 462 Pacific passenger uh, loco there. Um, okay. So I don't know if I got that or not. I went a bit too quick. I'm not too bothered if I didn't. Yes, we did. Yes, we win the furniture plant. Um, I just realised that also we are seeing Jim Fisk buy out my stock. So I only own, I say only, I own 70% of a company. Um, we own 50% of J. Pierpoint Morgan and 30% of Jim's. Just going to go ahead and upgrade some of these locos. Uh, Want to upgrade that to a freight one. Upgrade that to a freight one. That one will go for the new passenger. This one is going to go for the passenger. Oil and gas will go for the freight. Um, and a lot of these will just go for the freight as well. Um, that one's a mixed bag. So I'm just going to upgrade it to freight. That one, those are probably alright because I've just recently bought them. So, there we go. Um, I mean, wow. It's going to cost us five million. Ooh. New speed record, 55 miles an hour near Vancouver. Um, Spokane here, we haven't really done any other expansion, have we? And the question is, do we need to? I don't know. Increased freight power, pulling power for all trains. Well, we're going to get that, regardless of what happens. We're going to start flinging our wallets around. Local school children get math lesson from Railroad Mogul. Mommy, how much is 25 million anyway? Is that us? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So that'll be a victory. Mark. Yeah, there you go. So we didn't get Land of the Green, but we got a little bit there. They've completed some of this. We need to deliver 40 carloads of paper to 
Boise. Um, I'm looking around. I'm seeing that there's like the refineries that I can buy out. The Salem food plant. Now I think that makes some money. Look at the size of that. Yeah, 50 grand a year revenue. Half a million it cost us, but it's worth it. It was worth it. Now I'm looking around, I'm like, do I just buy some of these industries and work on that way? That is possible. However, I'm also of the opinion that uh, we don't need to upgrade that power plant. Can we transport anything else from here? Where's the nearest oil from this location? It's there. And then we've got another one. Oh, it's best to try and find the power plant. There it is. The near other one is over here. Which is, yeah, already been utilised, to be honest. So there's no point really there. I assume there's nothing else on the top left. I didn't <laughs> didn't actually look, but no, there's nothing over there. Um, bottom left. There's the colliery. Oh, more fish. Oh. Well, it would be rude. Not to... I just go direct, like that. 300,000. 282. Mikado. Freight train. Freight local. Local. Uh, there, max that out. All the fish, wait until full, go there, clear the car. Job done. How much fish and food is still there? Oh, not much, because we are transporting it. And I also haven't seen... Doesn't mean it hasn't happened, it just means I haven't seen um, the big pop up saying trains have been waiting far too long and haven't shifted. Crop circles discovered, grain prices plummet. How much is fish out of interest? Mm, fish is 14 grand. It's actually not ideal, it's not great, but it's good enough. So, looking at the competitors, uh, we're at 30, 000, we're 30 mil. We've won. Uh, unless they've got a huge amount of money sitting in their back pocket that I don't know about. Uh, we've also got uh, Morgan. We own 50% of their stock. And it's going to cost us another million and a half to buy them out completely. After that, it would be Jim Fisk. I'm tempted to buy out Jim Fisk first. Whoa! Did that just upgrade to this steel thing? Or did they just build it? Where, where, what? Hmm. They've built it so they can go to Olympia. Good grief. You don't really need the heating on in that building, do you? <laughs> um, yeah, hang on, hang on. Yep, yeah, we, I can't really get a better view of it. There's a couple of buildings in that volcano. <laughs> yeah. Um, interesting. Geothermally powered. We are on 8 million. I am going to wait to buy out Jim. Because. A, I can. B, I only own... 30% of his stock, but he also owns he also owns 30% of mine so buying out, oh you know what those two can, can bid all they want so he's got that patent, if I buy him out I get that patent <laughs> I get the patent straight away um, yeah, if I buy out Jim, I own, I'll own all of his stock, I can probably liquidate it quite frankly um, and then I also get all of mine, which is probably what we'll do. We have started in a very fortunate position. I know it took us a little bit of time and a lot of money to go over to this um, coal mine and then obviously start producing steel and the ore and bring it back and such and, and the cars. And we weren't transporting the cars and the goods until at least midway through the game. But as soon as we could, the money just flies in. Absolutely flies in. Um, yeah. So, oh, Japanese steel flooding industrial markets not good. Jim Fisk. Need twelve grand, uh, twelve million to buy out. Where we at? Almost there. There it is. Buy, liquidate, and that gives us two million straight off the bat. And it's got rid of this horrible <laughs> track that goes across there. But, oh no. He putting that in, but pushed these under into the uh, volcano, and now they're gone. 
Oh, that's a shame. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of railroads. I'm not going to continue on because it is just a case of, ooh, bonus of perishables. We have a lot of perishables in terms of uh, fish. Yeah, I'm not going to continue on any further because we're just waiting for money. It is just a case of wait for that eight grand in order to buy out Morgan. And uh, yeah, well, <laughs> I think we... Oh, actually, are halfway there. <laughs> Good grief. Either way, Railroads, not a bad one at all. I think, looking out of starting position and what happened, I may have, it would, may have been better to buy out, even though it would cost us half a million, which in the early game is an extreme amount of money, maybe buy out uh, a fishery, buy, buy a fishery as a business, um, and then we'd have one, two, three fisheries right on our doorstep. Yeah, and then four just down here. Hmm, I don't know. Either way, it's worked out because, well, we're on five million. And we own all of our stock. Bought out Cornelius. Cornelius, I think, was under ten grand for the first bit of stock. I wouldn't have thought that. And then Jim Fisk just bought those out. And because we're on six million, we might as well wait this last couple of minutes or so. Last minute or so just to... Oh, wood price goes up. Yeah, just to buy out Morgan. <clears throat> Curious, I sort of broke one of the fundamental rules of railroads is that if you stop expanding, you'll lose the game. The general rule, I find, is that expand, expand, expand. You constantly have to keep building and expanding. Now, we did, in some ways, because we were buying out industries, so that is in some way an expansion. But what I mean is that we went to here, we haven't went any further. It would be best to wrap around, start transporting stuff there, then go from that location, etc. But because of the way we'd set up, we'd built tall rather than wide, essentially. Got some very good industries. Once we start to transport some of those high-value goods... Oh! We are the President of the United States. Upon your retirement, you embark a new career as President of the United States. Huh. That's top dog, as you might imagine. That's the end of the game. We actually got to the end of the scenario. I don't think we completed it, but we won. <laughs> Interesting. When we didn't get to buy him out. Oh, well. There you go. <laughs> anyway, I'll finish what I was saying. Yes, um, because we, we got all those high-value cargoes, transported all those, and then we had loads of money to then buy out our competitors as well as buy a lot of the uh, auctions that were going on, whether it be patents or um, buying the auctions? <laughs> Makes no sense. Bidding on the auctions that had things like um, the patents as well as the industries. So getting those was sort of an expansion. But either way, it worked out, and we got there in the end, and also we got to the end of the scenario, even though we didn't necessarily... Um, well, we didn't buy out everybody, and we didn't necessarily get all of the all of the victory goals. But there you are, that's been a bit of Railroads. Hopefully it's been a bit fun one for you, and as well, uh, hopefully it's been chill as well. Um, if you want to see more, by all means, let me know. If you want any specific maps or goals or challenges you have in mind, then by all means, uh, let us know in the comments there. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings. <laughs>